Rudy's greeting you. You guys loved the last video where we talked about how I was able to stay in this property with credit card points. And so many of you guys loved it and reached out to me on Instagram that you said, let's do a quick tour. So I'm not a real estate agent. We're gonna do a quick tour today. Sedona, Arizona, literally the best Airbnb I've ever stayed in in my entire life. Probably the best place I've ever been in my entire life. And we're gonna talk about it today. This is a uh, about a three and a half million dollar house. Six bedroom, four and a half bathroom, about 4,500 square feet. I might be off there a little, maybe 4,800. It's massive. It's got a lot of cool stuff and we're just gonna zip you guys through it. So take a look at when you walk in. First of all, this is your front area. This is dining, uh, formal dining room, very big. Awesome, awesome lighting fixtures. Another lighting fixture over here, the same. This is the formal sitting area. Really cool tables that they put into this. What I can tell you about the, the, the finishes, the furnishings, it doesn't feel like an Airbnb. It's not like these Ikea stuff, which it shouldn't be for the cost, but super cool to see. Um, on this side, you guys can see just a super great wall fireplace as well. Not sure if it is usable for guests. I don't really know how to use it. We didn't use it, but super cool to see here. Another one of these cool tables. I hate to comment on all the tables, but how cool is that? Little bark, wood. I mean, these are expensive, really cool tables. Um, so I just want to kind of bring you into this. Think about this. This house, it's like a U. So we're on a U shape. On this side, we've got the master in here. I'll bring you guys to that in a second. We've got just a closet right to the left of me. And coming upstairs, we've got two bedrooms. So the first bedroom, just peep in there. Two single beds. I think it's really great for kids, really great for the kids of the group. Now in this area, we've got a second bedroom. Now this is probably the second best bedroom, that's only my opinion, but because it's biggest, it's got a king bed, got a computer set up, and over here, it's got its own entrance. So this is cool because this, this room and that room over there, which will be in a minute, have its own entrances. So that's really neat for bigger groups. There's another bathroom in there. Um, so heading back down this hallway, I'll run you guys into the master, which is super nice. So whoever books the trip, make sure you know when you come in, go to the left and get and, and, and kite the master quick. Because this thing is cool. So check this out. First of all, we're about 15 foot ceiling. Massive bed. Great sitting area. You know I had to come in on the table. So come, come take a look at the table. This table is cooler than the last one. It's got even holes in it. I mean, super cool table. So view. Outrageous, we'll get to that in a minute with the pool, of course. But the view from this room is, is insane. And then you've got a double vanity in the bathroom. You've got a tub in the bathroom here, you guys can see. And we're trying to run some shots over so you can look at it too, but you can, you can see the bathroom. And at the end of there, steam shower. That does work, which is sometimes they don't work. Um, they do allow dogs, as you saw when we opened the door, Rudy. It's $350, at least that's the time of the booking. They do allow dogs. Uh, no, this is not sponsored. In fact, I asked them if uh, they would give me a discount for shooting a video like this, and they told me no. They're trying to get organic traffic. So, management company and owners of this, here's organic traffic for you. Uh, we're gonna walk across now from where we just came to kitchen, informal dining, and living room with the TV. So you can see, super nice, big open kitchen, it's got everything you need. They have all the pots and pans and bells and whistles, oven, microwave, gas stove, awesome dining room, terrible acoustics for a video, really echoey, but awesome dining room because you've got 180 degree views of outside all the way around Sedona. You can see everything you'd want to see. Super cool there. In here, as I said, TV, speakers work. They're all around surround sound, super nice. We got those to work. And um, then back here, there's actually a Dry bar, it's got a mini fridge. Upon arrival, we got a little Pinot Noir and they have it stocked with glasses as well. On this side is what I would say, you know, if you're a family or something coming, you're probably the kid's side is my guess on this side. So this side has the half bath. So the half bath is, yeah, super nice, super clean. Then up here from these stairs, you've got your first bedroom on this side. So this is now the fourth bedroom you guys have seen. And nice view. The bathrooms connect in here. 
Super good walk-in shower. Everything connects. Everybody's happy. Another king bed, cozy rooms, good carpet, no stains, smells good. I, I, you can't complain about what a house that feels like it's brand new, feels like nobody's ever been in it. Um, and then finally back here is, that's the fourth and fifth bedroom. Here's the sixth bedroom. It is the smallest and the hottest, I do have to say, in the summer at least. I think they have a hard time getting AC in here. Uh, it's just two of us staying here with the dogs, so this is all overkill, right? Uh, but they've got a nice bathroom, smallest bed other than, of course, those twin beds, little closet, and uh, at, what, at one point, this was, I believe, the office of the house. Down there, they do have everything you need for laundry. And last but not least, if we head over into the garage, I'm not gonna spend too much time in here, but full game room for the kids or for whoever. Pool table, ping pong, foosball, got it all, very big and roomy. Actually, I, I, don't, I don't know that we would do it, but I think you could probably fit a car if you wanted to. Say it storms up here sometime monsoon season. It might storm up here. You could fit a car. Let's find the dog. Where are you at, Rudy? Come on, let's go, come on. Come on, Rudy. Rudy, you're their tour guide, you gotta come. All right, so um, from there, I wanna bring you guys to just the, the courtyard, just so you can kind of get the gist. So you can see how this is one big U. We're on the other hallway. The other hallway is on the other side of the house. So it's one big U. Like I said, I don't think you can find anything like this in Sedona right now, unless I'm wrong. This is a, I, I couldn't, I searched all over YouTube, couldn't find a modern one like this. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal home. Now on the front is the courtyard. So as you come in, this is where you guys came in a little bit ago. This is, you come in, you've got your courtyard, you've got one entrance here, again, private entrance to that bedroom, private entrance to that bedroom. So everybody's got their own private entrances from that perspective, which is phenomenal. And then last but not least, the place that we spent most of our time on this trip. Come on, buddy. You're the tour guide. Where do you spend most of your time, Rudy? Wanna show them? Pool, huh? So this is outdoor living at its finest. So these, these um, big sliders open up, sort of indoor outdoor living. Like I said, speakers throughout the house, of course for YouTube, I can't do it because of the copyright, but speakers in and out of the house, you can walk out here and we've spent the bulk of our time on this trip out here. Uh, on the right, you'll see grass padded area, great for the dog. Uh, but great loungers, really warm too, if you guys like the suntan. Couple different tables, little tiny like bar side table. This one was phenomenal. We had some dinners out here. We had some lunches out here. This one was the, the dog's favorite couch for drying himself off after the pool. And um, then over, over here on this side, it's kind of hard to see from here, but you'll see right here is a hot tub. And to the right of the hot tub is your uh, little fire pit there. But last but not least, come in the middle so you can really get this. I hope that all of you, I hope that all of you watching this can experience this view one day. Look at this. I, I, I just can't get over this view. So infinity edge pool, phenomenal view, like breathtaking. And I don't say that lightly. The pool is great. It's cold. It's refreshing, especially on a hot 100 degree day like this. And you've got everything you need. They've got their noodles, they've got floaties, um, and, and it's just all set up. It's perfect for groups, it's perfect for corporate retreats, this is perfect for families. Guys, I'm not sponsored to say this, other than I've had a phenomenal time here. So if you guys missed the first video, we were able to stay here, no money out of pocket. This was all credit card points. I think this is a brand new Airbnb, so I don't think there's gonna be many uh, reviews, but come up here, enjoy it. Let them know Patrick sent you Hopefully we can get enough stirred up where they're like, Patrick, you gotta go back and do another video. Shout out to the photographer, my girlfriend. She's shooting this on an iPhone. We don't have my video editor with me. We don't have my team with me. This is a homemade video and hope you guys enjoyed the feel and look of it. But again, this is Sedona, Arizona. By far one of the best Airbnbs I've ever seen in my life. And definitely I think it's the best Airbnb you can stay in in Sedona. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your first time here. Be sure to like, of course, comment your favorite part of this house other than my boy, Rudy and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video.